Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I've had some people ask me to show them how to make a CSS wrapper, so that's what I'm going to be showing you here. I've already I've already done it. I uh, whipped together this site recently um, for someone who needs something. I'll show I'll show you the site actually in a second here. It's not finished, but as far as a wrapper goes, a wrapper is simple. So you just create a wrapper like this. Um, you can put your width at whatever you want it, your height whatever you want it, your margin, whatever you want it. I don't know why it's 20 auto right now, but whatever, it works as it is. But, so, okay, so index.css, index.html. See, all you do is you put your div ID, then wrapper, and then you're going to close your div, which I think the div is closed here. I think the div is actually closed twice for some reason, but you know this code is thrown together. But anyways, a wrapper will work. If you, without the wrapper, um, your your shit's all gonna be stuck to the left side of the screen. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and run this, and I'll show you what we're talking about. So right now you can see this. I have a float over here. Uh, the wrapper's keeping everything in the center right here. So this is a coffee house right now. Um, oh, so as far as the float goes, I don't know if you guys need float. I got YLS as a float, which really it doesn't matter what you call it. But a float, you just set your float left, right, whatever you want, margin, font size, font family. That really doesn't need to be in there. That's up to you if you want to. I just stick it in there. Um, I'm a, honestly, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm a pretty sloppy coder. I put the code where it needs to go, uh, you know, to get it done quick. But my my stuff works, essentially. Um, I don't have any troubles with it. But when other people come and look at my code, I usually get yelled at. But at the same time, guys, I'm teaching you how to do a wrap. So you understand what a wrapper is, right? A wrapper is what is centering all this. A float is what's bringing this over here. And uh, let's go ahead and just take a, one more look. Remember, you want to have your CSS in an external file so you can get to it really quick. Um, and the wrapper is that simple, guys. You got your curly braces or whatever they're called. You put width, height, margin, and you're good. You can put a border there if you want. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but some people do that. Um, and that's a wrapper, guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me.